Welcome back to this video series all about animating a metahuman in Maya and then rendering it in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, you'll finish off your animation in Maya, so you'll position your cameras, then edit the cameras so they switch as it plays. You'll also turn on depth of field and set the focus distance for each camera. Then you'll add some film lights to the scene to make it look more cinematic. Then in the next videos, you'll transfer your finished animation to Unreal and export it as a movie. Okay, let's get started. Step one, start with previous Maya scene. If you're following along with this video series, you'll have a scene in Maya like this. It will be called Erno Anim 05 Facial Expressions. Go to the file menu, go to save scene as, and save this as Erno underscore Anim 06 underscore position cameras. Step two, set up framing and focus for camera one. Let's set up the framing for camera one. Go to frame zero. In the outliner, double click on Maya Cam 01. In the attribute editor, under camera attributes, make sure the focal length is set to 35. This means it's using a 35 millimeter lens. In the bottom right viewport, move your view around to create a frontal shot of the metahuman that cuts off at the elbows and leaves a little bit of room above his head. Now let's set camera one's focus. In the attribute editor, twirl down the depth of field section. Then click to enable depth of field. Change the f-stop to one. The viewport will go out of focus. Now adjust the focus distance to around 100 as a starting point. Then change the value until the eyes are in focus. To get a more precise result, change focus region scale to 0.05. This doesn't change the actual depth of field, but it shows a shallower depth of field in the viewport, so precise focus is easier. But once you've set your focus, I've found that it's best to return the focus region scale to 1. Step 3. Set up framing and focus for camera 2. Now let's set the framing for camera 2. Go to Panels, Perspective, Maya Cam 02. In the View submenu, go Camera Settings, Film Gate. In the Outliner, click on Maya Cam 02. In the Attribute Editor, under Camera Attributes, Make sure that the focal length is set to 35. Go to frame 69 of the animation. In the bottom right viewport, zoom into the face. Then click on the face mesh. Go into the view menu and choose look at selection. Now hold down Alt and click the left mouse button and drag to the left to rotate around. Frame the head onto the left hand side of the frame and frame up so the forehead is slightly cut off and there's room below his chin. Now in the viewport, click anywhere in the blank space to deselect everything. Now let's set the focus for camera two. In the outliner, click on Maya Cam 02. In the Attribute Editor, twirl down the Depth of Field section, then click to enable Depth of Field. Change the f-stop to 1. The viewport will go out of focus. Now adjust the focal distance to around 40 as a starting point. Then change the value until the eyes are in focus. Step 4. Set up framing and focus for camera three. Now let's set camera three's framing. Go to Panels, Perspective, Maya Cam 03. In the View submenu, go Camera Settings, Film Gate. In the Outliner, click on Maya Cam 03. 
In the Attribute Editor, under Camera Attributes, make sure the focal length is set to 35. Go to frame 119 of the animation. In the bottom right viewport, zoom into the face. Then click on the face mesh. Go into the view menu and choose look at selection. Now hold down Alt and click the left mouse button and drag to the right to rotate around. Frame the head to the right hand side of the frame and frame up so the forehead is slightly cut off and there's room below his chin. Now in the viewport, click anywhere in the blank space to deselect everything. In the outliner, click on Maya Cam 03. In the attribute editor, twirl down the depth of field section. Then click to enable depth of field. Then change the f-stop to 1. The viewport will go out of focus. Now adjust the focus distance to around 50 as a starting point. Then change the value until the eyes are in focus. Now go to Panels, Perspective, Maya Cam 01, to reset the view to Camera 1. Go to the File menu, Save Scene, to save your progress. Then go back to the File menu, go Save Scene As, and save this as Erno underscore Anim 07 underscore Switch Cameras. Step 5. Switch cameras with Camera Sequencer. We're going to use the Camera Sequencer, but first you need to change the display to just one viewport, because otherwise the playback performance is extremely choppy. So click on the bottom right viewport, and click Spacebar. OK, now go to Windows, Animation Editors, Camera Sequencer. Now in the Camera Sequencer Editor, Go to the Create submenu and click the box next to Shot. Change the Shot Camera dropdown to Maya Cam 01. Change the Start Time to 0 and the End Time to 240. Change New Shot Placement to Manual and enter 0 for the sequence start time and 240 for the sequence end time. Now click Create Shot. Now we have one big shot, but we need to split it up and change cameras. So go to frame 60, click on the blue rectangle that has two zeros on the left side. Now right click, click on Split Shot. Now right click on the yellow slab that has two 60s on the left side. Hover over Change Camera and choose Maya Cam 02. Go to frame 80. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 60s on the left side and click Split Shot. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 80s on the left side. Hover over Change Camera and choose Maya Cam 01. Go to frame 102. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 80s on the left side and click Split Shot. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 102s on the left side. Hover over Change Camera and choose Maya Cam 03. Go to frame 129. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 102s on the left side and click Split Shot. Right click on the yellow slab that has two 129s on the left side. Hover over Change Camera and choose Maya Cam 01. Go back to frame zero in the camera sequencer and press play. You'll see that there's a glitch every time you switch cameras and the playback performance is choppy even once the animation plays through once and it's cached. 
You can't really fix that inside camera sequencer, but to get a clear look at how your film is shaping up inside Maya, you can essentially bake your camera switches to something called an Ubercam, which is a single cam made up of different positions. The Ubercam is really useful, but just keep in mind that Maya bakes all sorts of camera settings into it, so if you want to change things later on, you need to come back to camera sequencer and rebake a new Ubercam. Okay, so to bake out the Ubercam, Marquee select the shots in the camera sequencer. They'll turn yellow. Go to the Create submenu and click on Ubercam. In the Outliner, rename the Ubercam camera as Maya Ubercam 01. Now close the camera sequencer entirely. Open the Panel submenu, hover over Perspective, and click on Maya Ubercam 01. Go to Frame 0. To get more room for the viewport, hide the Attribute Editor by clicking its tab. Press Alt-V to play. Press Alt-V to stop the playback. And just a reminder that this Ubercam is a single new camera that has keyframes added to it so that the camera moves around to different positions. It has no relationship at all with Maya Cam 01 or 2 or 3 anymore, so moving the Maya Cams won't change the Ubercam. Now press Spacebar to return to the 3 viewport display. Just to make sure you're seeing the correct views, in the top viewport, go to Panels, Perspective, Persp. And in the bottom right viewport, go to Panels, Perspective, Ubercam. Go to the File menu, Save Scene, to save your progress. Then go back to the File menu, go Save Scene As, and save this as Erno underscore Anum08 underscore film lights. Step 6. Add film lighting. The last step in this video is to add film lighting to our scene. So first we need to hide the existing lighting. In the outliner, twirl down default light set. Select the three lights. And press H on the keyboard to hide them. Now we need to add lights to the scene. We're going to add three lights a frontal key light, and two side lights. Let's add our first light. Come to the Create menu, Lights, Area Light. In the Outliner, double-click the text of its name, and rename it Maya Light 01, all one word. Then in the Channel box, change the values to negative 354, 105, negative 134, negative 18, negative 116, and negative 8. The character should now be lit up by this area light. If you can't see the effect of it, in the viewport, go up to the renderer menu, click on the box to the right of viewport 2.0. Make sure that the light limit is set to at least 6. Then click Close. If you still can't see the light, make sure Maya01 is selected, then in the Attribute Editor, change the Decay dropdown to Linear. Now change it back to No Decay. I found in my 2022 that this sometimes forces it to show the lights properly. But if that still doesn't work, you're going to have to restart Maya. So go up to File, Save Scene, then quit out of Maya and open it again. Then reopen this same scene. The light should finally appear now. OK. Now let's add our second light. In the Outliner, click on Maya Light 01 and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Click on this new light. And then in the channel box, change the values to 153, 107, negative 175, 0, 100, and 0. Now let's add our third and final light. In the Outliner, click on the second light and press Ctrl D to once again duplicate. And now click on this third light. Up in the channel box, change the values to 25, 139, 74, 0, 8, and 0. Okay, you now have three film lights set up for your scene. 
In the fourth and fifth videos in this series, you'll transfer your animation to Unreal Engine 5 and record it, then export it as a movie. Please like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you in part four.